Once again, a big round of applause for me. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, uh, for staying back and listening. Most people don't understand what I do. I'm a, I'm a comedian. A lot of people think what I do is tell some jokes. Like, I get called for events in companies and they'll be like, Hey Douglas, just come over and tell some jokes. Uh. Just tell some jokes. Uh. Just come and tell some jokes. And I'm like, okay. And then, then they ask, how much? Uh? You come and tell some jokes. No, tell them, like, okay, like, X amount, right? tell some jokes. And this is the thing, you, you tell people in Malaysia, any amount, right? what is the first response you get? Wow, so expensive. Uh. Right? No matter what I say, <laughs> no matter what amount I give up, uh, wow, so expensive. Uh. Just tell some jokes. Uh. Just come and tell some jokes. Uh. I said, okay, I'll tell you what, uh. I do it for half the amount. If not funny, you don't have to pay me. Uh. And the guy will be like, wow, really? Uh. I said, no, I was telling some jokes. Uh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so why are your topic so heavy? <laughs> you cannot choose a lighter one, like Gong Si Fa Chai or something. Okay, critical evolution. Uh, what does. There's Sayo on the stage. <laughs> what does the role of comedy have in critical uh, evolution in humans? Uh, honest answer don't have. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Comedy as I know it, as I interpret it, is a form of entertainment. Entertainment is not exactly critical for human evolution. If you play all the zombie games, zombie apocalypse, post-nuclear, there's no role for the comedian one. Correct? Doctor, engineer, all these people, farmer. Yes or no? Right? Who, the, only, the joker or the singer or the actor there is, is consuming valuable resources. They're not, not contributing to the repopulation of the earth or the redevelopment or the progress. So, is there a role for comedy? I don't know. I think entertainers like myself will probably be the first things phased out during this critical evolution. Why? Because you will then learn how to entertain yourselves and not rely on people like me. The difference between you and me is I'm better at it, that's all. <laughs> Much better. But when you guys learn to, to entertain yourselves, you don't need me anymore. You upload a video of the Carlsberg girl getting scolded by the Malay fella. Entertaining what? <laughs> Correct? This is what's happening. You guys are entertaining yourselves. Eventually, I won't be needed anymore. But by that time, I die, didn't I? Okay, this is... Uh, okay, I'm very famous. <laughs> yes, everybody say I'm very famous. <laughs> okay, this, okay. So the first... The first, four, uh, the first three parts is just history. I don't know whether it's important or not, whether you will be interested, but it's something I learned. Again, I don't have a degree in comedy. Huh? There's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> most, people, most people think they have a degree in comedy. They end up, you know, in parliament. <laughs> but actually... <laughs> what, what, what? Very funny, huh? they all, you watch the hands up, not watch the hands up once in a while. Huh? Watch, the, watch, watch what they say. Oh, sometimes very funny, these fellas. Okay? Now, but I don't have a degree in comedy. Um, I think you get a diploma, if I'm not mistaken. I think Australia has one. Um, but I, I enjoy comedy. I, it's part of my life. It's kind of the only thing I know how to do. Um, and I've, I study a lot. Uh, I read a lot on, on the internet. So some of the stuff may not be true. But then again, this is going to be on the internet, right? So take it with a pinch of salt. Okay, so brief history of comedy. You'd be surprised, right? One of the earliest things that they thought was comedy or we classify as comedy was cave painting. So you know all these cavemen, right? They, that time they got no house, ma, right? So they stay in a cave, right? And they go outside and they are hunter gatherers. So they go and kill the bison, whatever, right? They kill the... What's that? Big... Like elephant, not elephant, bigger than elephant one? Mammoth. Mammoth, okay. So, apparently one of the earliest cave paintings saw a painting of a bunch of humans hunting a mammoth. The difference was that the humans were damn big. The mammoth was very small. So, and they were like, this fella don't know how to paint or what? Like, why were perspective all wrong? Then they realized, oh my, oh my God, this might be the first joke. Because basically, usually, mammals very big, ma, right? Now the fellow said, no, mammals small, we all big. And the, maybe the, the cavemen all like, ha, 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 ha. I don't know. <laughs> it looked that way, la, you know? and there will be a few more where, where, it, where the, the perspective of things was changed purposely, not because the artist was you know, uh, short-sighted. The first recorded joke, the first joke written, was in 1900 BC. 
BC by the Sumerians. The joke basically that was written in the Sumerian language was, it's like this, huh? something that has never happened since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart on her husband's lap. Okay, when I listen to this type of sentence, I want to slap myself because it's a double negative. You don't actually know what's happening. Something that has never happened since time in memorial means something that has never happened. A young lady did not fart on her husband's lap. So double negative. So means what? She did, no? Right? So now, the first recorded joke was a fart joke. And uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe because it makes a funny sound. Or, and also I don't know why young, a young lady, what means old, old women will always fart. Actually, I don't know. Okay. So anyway, that was the first recorded joke. Lah, okay. Uh, there was another one. Uh, suddenly after that was in Egypt. Uh, say, how do you, how do you uh, entertain a bored pharaoh? You take a bunch of ladies who are naked and wear, only wearing uh, fishnets and sail them down the Nile and ask the pharaoh to go catch a fish. So, hamsap joke. <laughs> so, <laughs> the earliest jokes was the tea joke, hamsap joke, fat joke. Okay? Then came Greek comedy. Greek now, the Greeks, uh, these flurs, they're very clever. Uh, where they invented democracy. All right? Now, Earliest Greek uh, theatre entertainment was tragedy. Basically, this is like your Korean drama la, back then. <sighs> Taiwan, la. Taiwan drama, Korean drama. Cry, 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 cry. People die, mother die, cry, 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 cry. Die, 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 cry, die, die again. Come back to life, die again, cry. Okay? The first Greek comedy was used to make fun of this. This, why, why, why so serious? Why so serious? Relax, ah. Huh? Relax, huh? So that was what they were doing. And the people who were doing this guy, Aristophanes, basically, he came on, he was doing a lot of comedy, he would make fun of politicians. That's what he was doing. He made fun of the Senate, he made fun of people in power, he made fun of landowners, people, everybody, oh, because there's time no internet, okay? So we cannot simply just flame and like, hey, bodo, uh, whatever, we cannot. Right? So they go to the theatre, and this guy, they would write plays, and so they were, the actors would wear masks of the famous people, wear masks of the leaders, and will be, you see, look how stupid I am, you see, I did this, stupid not, everybody will laugh. And that was the way they would, they, for them to tell the people in power that, hey, the rakyat not happy with you, ah. You are doing stupid things, very questionable things. Look, we are all laughing at you. That was the way of doing it. So that was Greek comedy, very important. Laid a lot of foundation for a lot of comedy that came after that. Vaudeville, vaudeville is basically... Uh, then it started getting less serious. Ah. It was like people like, hey, yeah, I just want to laugh. Like, Why so heavy? Why you give me a message about comedy? So this one, I just, I just have some, some people sing songs, some people do acrobat, some people tell some jokes, and another fellow will, will do some juggling, just uh, like uh, America Got Talent. Ah, right? Okay, so that's what I will. Stand up comedy, this one. Ah. TV and movies, then you get uh, the host, the, the, what do you call that, the, uh, game sh the game shows, the talk shows. Now the talk shows, we start going into things like the daily show, we go uh, Hassan Minaj, uh, Patriot Act. These are shows where a lot of research goes into it, but presented in a comedy fashion. Uh, we started with uh, Letterman, and of course now Conan O'Brien, now later one Trevor Noah, uh, and people like that, lah, okay? Okay, well, what was comedy for? Number one is to act as a social glue. A lot of things act as social glues. For example, sports. Understand? Sports started out as, basically, I, I can run very fast. I want to show people I can run very fast. And then after I run very fast already, I can thank the God. Because the God gave me the leg to run very fast. Originally, that was Olympic sports. Oh, it's all about God. One. It's go there and pray to the gods. Very good. But then... Uh, the athletes from, from different parts of Greece started to cheer for their own athletes lah, because they, so they became a social glue. Suddenly sports became a social glue. Like I was saying, Olympics, badminton, it's not about gods anymore. Now it's uh, Thomas Cup, it's all about us as a society rooting for our, uh, our champion. So it's, uh, as far as a social glue is concerned, uh, celebrations are a social glue, uh, glue, festival, social glue. Yes, there's all this day, day th uh, thing about God, but don't know, important, not important. Uh. Um, and comedy is one of them, right? Uh, the X as, as a social glue. Number two, to alleviate distress. Remember the first cave painting? Now, the mammoth was basically very big and could kill you if you're a caveman. So, comedy was a way to 
take away the fear. It was like, actually, Mammoth small. Uh. We all big. Uh. Mammoth small. And there's a way we cope. It's a coping mechanism to take away distress and stress. And comedy was used for that. To mock or feel superior. This one, uh, not the best of reasons, but as natural as they can, as they, as they come. As human beings, unfortunately, in our DNA, we have the need to do this. To mock and to feel superior. Uh, this one is where you get people making fun of fat people. Right? You see the fat person, you go like, hey, you need another chair, brother. <laughs> huh? Or, hey, hey, tapa, hey, faster tapa lah. Better tapa, man. Hey, better eat faster, no. Fat fellow is here. Okay? It's funny, but, but it's, 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 mock, it's mocking lah. You want to feel superior. And feeling superior also, actually, it evolved one, no. So last time, how do you, how do you feel superior? You see the, you see the poor fellow lah, right? You see poor people, you see so poor. So poor, they are, me, I'm very rich. I'm rich, you see, I wear the clothes very nice. Yeah, so poor, yeah, eat, eat rubbish for dinner, yeah, right? But now you see who gets mocked, the poor, the rich, the rich, right? Why am I pointing to myself when I say rich? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, right, you go like, yeah, 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 stupid rich fellow, you see? See, all the first world problems, you see, stupid phone, you see? See, you see what he's wearing? He's, uh, all this, uh, we wear the jeans with no socks, uh-huh. right? Okay, last time it was like slut shaming, whore shaming. You see the, the last time it was like all the prostitute or whatever it is, then you go like, oh, uh, uh, yeah, no shame, uh, no shame. Lousy, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, mock, you feel superior. Then now, the flat change, virgin kena. <laughs> huh? You never said before? Uh? Yeah, 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 virgin, uh, yeah. So, but you understand what I'm talking about, right? It changes one. There's just a human need for us to do this. I have no idea why. <laughs> okay? The last one I feel like is to criticize. This one is a, is a, is a, is a um, continuation from the previous one where this time at least we have a reason to why we are mocking. We are trying to actually criticize. We are trying to tell the person, hey man, something is wrong. You are doing something wrong. And I need you to see this because if I say it too clearly, you may arrest me and put me in jail. That's why people like Zuna do cartoon. But that one also kena jail lah. <laughs> You're not supposed to lah, okay? But that's what comedy, uh, the, pur- pur- the purpose of, of comedy. Next, ever, okay, so the type of comedy, physical comedy, you know lah. Uh, Mr. Bean, right? Uh, now, a lot of people say physical comedy, slapstick, is very childish and very uh, not nice. I would disagree. I think good physical comedy is good physical comedy regardless. You have seen a lot of YouTube videos, the cat will run, 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 and then chase and bang the wall and fall down. Funny or not? Oi. <laughs> Funny or not? Funny. Uh, that's, that's physical comedy. La. If done well, if done well, it's good. La. Baby, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and then, then fall and then hit the cake. You know, it's, it's funny, it's funny, okay? So physical comedy done well is funny. I, re- I don't care what people say. Don't tell oh, you're physical comedy. I just hit people and then shout loud, loud, like, yeah, stupid. Okay, no. Joke machines. Joke machines are basically people last time was, they would stand there and they would, they would just tell joke after joke after joke. Not connected one, uh, the, the, the jokes. They could like, uh, hey, uh, so uh, my wife left me yesterday. Uh, it was my fault. I left the door open. <laughs> and, and then they go to the next one. Uh, so uh, my wife left my best friend. Oh, I really miss him. Like, okay, so these are joke machines. They just stand there and just go joke, 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 joke. Then came the anecdotal com- uh, comedians. These were people who would uh, take uh, that, that first technique, but put it into a story about their life. One of the best comedians doing this now in Malaysia is a guy called Kwa Jen Han. If you can go and check out his YouTube or check out his shows when he, when he does it and he comes out of depression. <laughs> And, you know, it does just, and he's a very good anecdotal comedian because a lot of his jokes are from his stories, personal life. He traveled to Kazakhstan, he traveled, he did this, he went to Disneyland, Hong Kong. And, and a lot of the stories come through in a funny way. Those are anecdotal comedians, all right? Observational comedy is what I do. This is your bread and butter everyday life. Hey, isn't it funny that, you know, men do this and women do this? Uh, observational comedy. All right. Hey, don't you find it strange that when you hear the sound of a motorbike, you immediately lock your car door? <laughs> Observational comedy. All right. That's what that's what I do. All right. Absurd comedy. This one I let to learn to do. This one is damn strange. Okay. I give you a, I give you I give you an example of this one. Huh? Okay. Now, 
joke machine in terms of joke machine uh, structure is like this all right jokes are a very see if you all know or not uh, okay if i tell you a joke you tell me what type of joke it is uh, all right so let's say i go um why okay uh when is a door not a door when it is a jar uh huh don't know don't know right okay when a door is a jar means a jar means the door is open that's why it's in english it's called a jar but a jar also means a jar so when is a door not a door when it is a jar what type of joke is that come on what type of joke is that what am i what am i joking about what lame joke ah huh? okay correct 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 uh, but that's called a pun joke word play i'm playing on the word okay uh, so another one okay why did the chicken cross the street to get to the other side what joke is that uh, apart from lame joke super <laughs> well, well done <laughs> you wow i'm glad lah the education system is doing us producing a lot of high quality students. Uh, <laughs> that is called a meta joke. A meta joke is a joke about jokes. Now, why because if you if you if, if okay, imagine if someone has never heard a joke in his life or her life. Never heard a joke. This is a little nerd like hell like little nerd like you know. Like just study mathematics account whatever like nerd ah, nerd okay? And then you suddenly hey, why did the chicken cross the street to get to the other side? The first be like correct lah. Why is this funny? It's because you that is a meta joke. You're joking about joke structure. You assuming the person you are talking this to already knows what a joke is. So when you go like, why did the chicken cross the road? The fellow is expecting a stupid answer. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because Colonel Sanders chasing him or something like you know like he ex they expect a funny answer and then you you and you purposely answer normal to get to the other side. No, then the fellow ah yeah. <laughs> so that's a meta joke. Okay, why did chicken cross the road? Now what is an absurd absurd joke? Okay, example ah. Huh? Why did the elephant sit on the marshmallow? <laughs> because he's scared to fall into the cup of hot chocolate. Ah, la la, I'm saying this one. Xiao one, xiao, xiao, you don't know what's going on. Okay? You But there are people doing this comedy and it's actually quite funny because you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't understand. At least in Wonderland it's type of it's type of absurd this comedy lah, okay? Okay. Uh, the comedian pre-social media. Now pre-social media, before the, I started doing comedy about 10, 10 about 12 years ago, right? Before uh, Facebook uh, really took off, before Twitter, before social media, before Instagram and all this, right? I it was quite simple for me. Basically, I had to be, what I had to do, I had to be good at my job. What was my job? Telling jokes. Telling so, so I had to just write, write my jokes, go on stage, perform my jokes, make sure I don't flub. Make sure I don't come up unprepared. I do my jokes. Thank you. I bow. People laugh. People clap. I go. I sign poster, and I collect my money from the ticket. All right. That was it. It was a simple exchange. In other words, you live your lives. I live my life. But you like to laugh, and you know I can do that. So once a year, twice a year, we would meet in a theater or a space, and we would do a business transaction. You would give me money, I will tell you jokes and give you a hey. What happened, huh? What happened? What are that? I press something, ah. Okay. Uh, where uh, we come together and then we do that one night or however long I was doing for one week, exchange. Give me money, I tell jokes, you laugh, go home, done, finish. For the rest of the year, you don't disturb me, I don't feature in your life. Clear? Next one, only the best received opportunities. This is pre-social media because you did not, as a comedian, you did not have an avenue to show your skills to the public. The public means of getting to the public at that time was radio, TV, newspaper, mass media, and only the best of the best will get these opportunities. You did not have a direct link to your audience. This is pre-social media, all right? So that means if you go there, you're the best. Means you're well seasoned before fame. These are people when they be, when, once they become famous, there's only one way up there. Is you gotta fight all the other comedians. 
to make sure you get attention and you go to all the clubs and you go to you do all the small shows and you make you fight, 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 fight. And by the time you get there, by the time people go like, oh yeah, this guy is quite famous, he's quite a good comedian, you 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 are good. You are good. Okay. Post social media, unfortunately, there's this can con handling of constant feedback. Now, as a comedian, time's up. Bye bye. I can continue or not? Oh, no time. You tell me. You all decide, you all decide. You all listening, you all don't listen. Go, go next one. What is next? Lunch. Ah? Continue, okay. Handling constant feedback. As a comedian, we got one feedback, all right? Audience uh, reaction. We're not like singers or actors. Actors do a movie, they wait two years for the movie to be processed and then see if people like or don't like. Singers, they got five minutes to finish singing the song, finish singing the song, wait for a clap. But they got five minutes. Comedians, one second after I finish talking. Every sentence. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, when, it, when, it, when I tell a joke, right? Imagine it's now I came up. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for me. And everybody's like, means I don't know good. Though. That's how we handle feedback as, as, as comedians pre social media. If you laugh, if you clap, I did a good job. If you don't, I did a bad job. Post social media, even after I do a good job, I go back home, some joker will say, hey, you know, actually, uh, your politic jokes are not very good. Uh. You, were you at the audience? 99% uh? people clap and laugh. You 1% don't laugh and don't clap. Who's the problem here, me or you? <laughs> okay? But that's what we do now. Now, and a lot of comedians get sucked into this. Uh. They were, they, people post it, they post back, they post back, they post back, eventually it evolves. And what was the reason? What was the whole reason for this? I'm there to entertain, that's all. I'm here to make people laugh. If you didn't laugh, sorry, no? Not my problem. Next one, fan appreciation. <sighs> Comedian fans, I don't know, and probably music fans, whatever fans now, seem to feel that I need to show I'm appreciative to them. When in fact, you don't feature in my life. I have my family, I have my friends, I have my people, and I have my own time. I like to play computer games. I don't, you don't feature in my life. And it's very rude to tell people that because they think you are their friend. But this happens. Role model responsibilities this is another one. Suddenly, everything I do as a comedian, eh, tak baik lah, you do like that. Nanti budak-budak tengok. Surah budak jangan tengok lah. Is that my problem? Where are the parents of this budak? How come only the bad things I do, the tak baik lah, budak tengok. How come I, the good things I do, your budak never follow? And at the end, eh, tak baik lah, tak baik lah. And at the, at the end, eh, saya tak buat baik, saya buat lawak. My job is a commit. You understand or not? What? In, in social media, it's your fault, lah. It's your social media, lah, right? You, know, like, you, go tell, you go tell soldier, lah. Hey, you, you keep people, lah. You no good, lucky people. How can you keep people? No good, lucky people. His job, lah. Yeah, his job is to defend the country, but sometimes got to keep people, right? So how? My job is to tell jokes. Hey, yo, why you tell all these sex jokes? Because it's funny, lah. <laughs> they take funny, what? <laughs> Suddenly, it's becoming like a rant, right here. <laughs> This is not helpful at all, huh? Okay. Open market. Open market basically means now, instead of fighting with just comedians, I'm fighting with people like y'all also. For, for comedy content. No, it's true. Because some of y'all are, are, are actually very funny. Uh, last time, I think there was a big hole that happened in Bukit Bintang. Bukit Bintang area, there was a big hole, right? Then a lot of the netizens, they post jokes. One got Zila coming out of the hole. I thought that was damn funny. And most comedians were like, ah, yeah, yeah, very funny, very funny. And we cannot, we cannot, Chef One is another one always competing with, with us <laughs> to do funny things. Alright? Then the, 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 the latest, okay, and the, 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 and the latest one, eh, the fellow sing, uh, what? Let's just kiss and say goodbye. Very funny, right? Right? And open competition, okay? Now, so how, how have I evolved? I've learned to embrace social media to the best of my ability. I now have Instagram. <laughs> Alright? And once in a while, I will respond. Number two, I, I'm more careful with sharing jokes. This is very important because you share the wrong joke, some people might steal and perform, or worse, you get, you offend the wrong people and they end up picketing outside your house and doing exercises. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, jokes are all about context. Huh? Okay, I'll go say this once. Huh? Okay, coffee in a cup is a drink. Coffee on your shirt is dirt. Understand? It's the same thing. It's coffee. Different context. People suddenly either like it or really hate it. Okay, last one. Realizing that this is a source of distraction. Now, this is the hardest realization. And I'm going to end on this. The hardest realization that an entertainer can have. Before social media, before this critical evolution of social media all happened, I thought what I did was an art and you would really want to come out and take time out of your busy schedule. Most people would come out to watch this art and be entertained. And now I realize that 90% of the time that is not true. What I am is a distraction. I am a swipe on your phone. I provide content that you watch because you are bored with what you're doing now. You're studying, oh yeah, stress lah, swipe lah, see what Douglas is doing. Ha 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 stupid CNY joke, okay. <laughs> but do you understand? Do you understand? Now, as, as comedians, we have to evolve. As entertainers, I have to evolve to accept this fact that I am more of a distraction now than I am a highlight in your life. Just as you don't feature in my life, maybe I don't feature that much in yours. Michael Jackson, one of the greatest entertainers of all time, am I right? When he died, the day he died, what were you all doing? Crying? Some of you all continued working? Some of you all studied? We went on with our lives. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, must take.